Hi everyone, Jen with Jen's Pup and Suds. Welcome to the series on the grooming table. Today we're talking about combing and brushing. Do you know which dogs need to be combed and brushed? The answer is all of them. Um, from short hair dogs to long hair dogs to double coated breeds, each one of them needs to be combed or brushed or both. So let's go over a few of that I have today. The slicker brush is what we're gonna use on most any dog, aside from um, labs, beagles, chihuahuas. This is gonna be on doodles, this is gonna be on shizus, yorkies, any dog that has long hair that you wanna keep fluffy, this is gonna be your brush. Greyhound comb, this is gonna be for long haired dogs, or again, dogs that you keep fluffy. Now for our short haired dogs, cause we can't leave them out. We have what we call our Zoom Groom. This, I use wet or dry, but dry is going to be the best way to use it. Next, we can't leave our double-coated breeds out, like German Shepherds, Huskies. This is called the Furminator. What this does is it's going to remove all that excess undercoat. I offer a de-shedding treatment here that goes beyond just using the brush, but more about that another day. So let's get started. This is Brooker, and I'm going to demonstrate before his bath how we use the slicker brush. Slicker brushes are very useful on doodles and many other breeds. What you're going to want to do is take it and hold it just like this, and you're almost doing a sweeping motion upwards. With a slicker brush, you want to go against the grain of the hair, against the way the hair grows. That way, we're lifting all of it up and we can get all the dirt in there during the bath. Just like that. Now that we've got Brooker all fluffed up, it's time for the tub. Thank you, thank you. Now that Brooker's all bathed, we wanna go ahead and brush him and comb him again. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your slicker brush, and I'm gonna demonstrate on one part of the body so that way you get an idea. And you're going to start by brushing upward. This, once again, is going to get all the hair up off of the skin. We're going to go against the grain of the hair. Once you've done this all over the body, you're going to take your greyhound comb and you're going to comb with the grain of the hair. As you can see, this gets all the way down to the skin, and we can make sure that Brooker doesn't have any knots. If you do run into a knot, something handy that you can do is turn the comb this way and kind of pick gently at the knot a few times, and then you should be able to brush it right out. This is our Zoom Groom. This is what we use on all of our short-haired dogs that have a lot of hair. What you're gonna do is go with the grain of the hair, and as you can see, look how much is already coming off of the short haired dogs. This is great to do on beagles, chihuahuas, rottweilers, labs, pretty much anything you can do it on. Also, while we're right here, I'd also like to show you the Furminator tool. What this does is it removes the excess undercoat which is also great on double-coated breeds and a lot of short-haired dogs. Look how much that gets off. Hope these tools are helpful for you guys to use at home to keep your dogs happy and healthy. As we just demonstrated on the table about the Zoom Groom using it dry, I also like to use it wet. I really love it to get in there and get scrubbing all of that loose, dead hair to help get it out. The Zoom Groom is used for multiple things, and so I am one that likes to use tools for all of their purposes. Hope this helps you guys.